the earth is finally going to shake very hard. Today is the official start of the turn. The next FMC meeting is in about 15 hours. It's like everything changes. It looks like things are about to speed up to the highest level. Are you ready? Not anyone else is. The stock market isn't a date because we still don't understand it. We're going to. The market thinks there is a 65% chance that they will cut rates by 50 basis points tomorrow or today. I think there is only a 35% chance that they will cut rates by 25 basis points. What will it be? John F. Kennedy, let it be 50 basis points. You know what a crazy thing that will be right now? I know that some people don't understand how important tomorrow's event is. It all has something to do with each other though, okay? Things that happen outside of cryptocurrencies, the stock market, and the next dollar, right? Guys, it all fits together. It all makes sense, right? To each other. What does that mean? There could be a huge boost coming tomorrow because of an event in Q4. But what will it be? The main question is what will the Fed do? The CEO of JP Morgan says the Fed will rate or cut rates by 25 to 50 basis points tomorrow. I'm still sick, but tomorrow is going to be even worse. That's a cut in rates by 25 basis points with a soft landing expected. What will it be then? Everyone has their own thoughts. A Federal Reserve meeting has never been less certain than this one, right? No matter what the Fed does tomorrow, half of the market will be let down. But you shouldn't be, because even a 25 basis point change is good news. It's more bullish if it's 50 basis points. So unless you're a bear, how can you be upset? Yes, it's time for. Um, to go back to sleep mode, guys, kill mode is coming soon. King Bitcoin is here, guys. He says that tomorrow the Federal Reserve will lower interest rates. This will make it cheaper for markets to borrow money after four years. I expect this. One, sells quick pumps. Two, short-term investors and people who trade events for a living make money. The market then falls. People lose hope that the market will clean up after a news event and a drop in prices. After taking into account boredom, he thinks that today the market will pump right away because of the Federal Reserve cut, but then traders will take profits up there and will dump lower than where we'd be pumped from. So we're er, going to accumulate and then we'll start pumping after probably in Q4. It's about to go demonic mode. You guys are ready. And this is my timeline. I'm still waiting for this part, which is the mini bluff top where we see all the coins and everything else show up. Tomorrow is a very important day, guys. It doesn't matter if it's only 25 basis points or 50 guys, it will still cause a short-term response. You guys, be very careful when you trade. Things are going to get really crazy. In case you missed it, I'll leave these links in the description below in case you want to learn more about the long threads. Now, everyone is wondering if the Federal Reserve will lower interest rates by 25 basis points or 50 basis points. But what happens to the stock market when the Fed starts to lower rates? Let's look at the past. Let's go down now. In the past, if there isn't a crisis, the SP500 returns 15% or more within a year of the first rate cut. As you can see below, the SP500 usually loses 16% in the first year after a recession. To keep the market from going down too far, the Fed needs a soft landing. It doesn't matter what happens after this. I care about the fact that we need to see this. Guys, a bluff top happens right when that happens. I'm leaving, okay, which I think will soon go into a recession if I weren't already in one, but the stocks don't care. Right now, crypto markets don't care because everything is green. Okay, the SP500 has finally reached a new all-time high. Since August 5th, it has gone up 10%. Good morning, everyone. The SP500 is now up a huge 20% so far this year. What's going on with the stock market? Everything is green. The Dow Jones is going to new all-time. Highs for both the Dow and the SP. What if they just pump it and we don't see the dump? Once more, this could be. What? Does the room right now have the banana zone? The banana zone is where everything goes crazy. Are we moving into that stage right now? I hope everything goes well. Who should make the call? He's right here. Have a nice time. He also gets a call from someone in charge. Let's talk about what a game plan is, all right? What does a game plan really mean? Guys, I forgot about the dollar. A less strong dollar doesn't just mean a lower DXY, it also means better global liquidity because it's easier to pay off debts based in dollars. The dollar is also going to die soon. How much is a dollar now? Let's see. Wow, guys, I think the dollar is going to die soon because I'm seeing so much money leave it. In other words, this thing is going to go down, 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 yes. The next level of support is 97, but I think it will go down to around 94 to 85 before the recession happens. Hopefully I'm calling this right, guys. Then the recession happens. Not that I want a recession to happen, but it does look like it might happen in the future. Why not use Bitcoin? Okay, Bloomberg says Bitcoin is going through the roof before the Fed might cut rates tomorrow for the first time in four years. Is it time to go? Is it the fruit zone phase? What is it? I hope the time is right. This is the 
the thing that will push us to new heights in places we've never been before, where people trade Bitcoin. Like I said, it's really bad today. Its rise has brought it to the best level we've seen this month and brought its gains for the year to about 40%. Bitcoin is worth more than $61,000 right now. MicroStrategy recently bought even more Bitcoin. It was its biggest deal in over three years with the purchase of another 18,000 coins. An SEC report says that the company run by Michael Saylor lost $1.1 billion on Bitcoin between August and this month. It now has about 245,000 Bitcoin worth a total of $14 billion. When the time comes, here we are. Besides that. So these are the main points. ASIC bought 900 Bitcoin, Bitwise bought 700 Bitcoin, and ARK bought 700 Bitcoin. Okay, so it looks like these people are shopping like crazy. They might be doing this because they're about to break this kind of news. Rates are going to go down by 50 basis points by the Federal Reserve in. Exactly 24 hours. Guys, you remember that the last time this happened, the bull market started? Even though interest rates were at zero at that time, Bitcoin had already hit its lowest point. That was only because of an event in a black zone, right? It could be because this time is a little different, right? So 25 basis points or 50 basis points cut, guys. Bitcoin then goes through the roof like this. Then the slump hits, they start cutting hard and Bitcoin goes down, right? Then we hit the bottom. That stays stable and we move to the upper right for the moment of fall. Do you think that things are getting more and more interesting? I wanted to let you guys know, is that Bitcoin right here yesterday or early today when we were pushing, there was so much money coming in that it was crazy. Guys, I've never seen anything like that on the smaller time frames. I've never seen anything like that before. That's why we have a t-shirt and can change the cuts in beautiful ways. The most beautiful thing is that yes, people do manipulate the weak, but they don't know that people also manipulate the strong, right? That's really lovely. At the same time, good news is spreading. A big bank in Singapore, DBS, agreed to let people trade Bitcoin and Ethereum options. The next one is Deutsche Digital Assets, which is a new economy. Bitcoin ETP starts trading today as well. Positive. The banks are now coming in. Michael Dale, a billionaire, is going to put a lot of money into Bitcoin. Are you going to look at that? Okay. A company that is traded on the stock market has made Bitcoin its main cash reserve asset. Let's say that America did that. Okay. In line with our main goal. Owners of shares rate cuts and more money printing start 321. That's exactly what's going on here. Take a look at the stage. We're here to see something, guys. What has happened each time? Yes, it's that easy, guys. The color is the same as that right here. That stage and that stage right there. What came after the explosion moment was the blow off top moment. And that's what's coming up next, guys. But it will be lower than this. It will go back down because of the recession. But then it will go back up for the blow off top. Guys, but the divergence is terrible. Even though the price of Bitcoin is going up, this sign, the RSI, is going down. This means that Bitcoin is likely to crash in 2026. Let's buy altcoins now while we still can because alt season is coming up soon. Bitcoin, if Q4 isn't interesting after all the time it took to get here, what should I say? There was praise that fit just right in the middle of the channel and the noise level stuck just right in the tip of the wedge. Okay. Guys, it looks like it wants to blow up. Guys, you know that OBV is a big deal when it comes to balance output. Bitcoin will go in that direction as soon as this goes through the roof. Now is the time I think the next limit is 100K. A good circle psychological level and other things like that, guys. It's interesting that all of these signs show up around the same time that the Federal Reserve starts making strange cuts. This was all planned, guys, because whoever has money plays the markets. They knew that the Fed would cut rates in September, so they sped up everything before what might be the last big blast. Guys, take a look at Bitcoin's indicators. They're putting in a holding pattern while they wait for news. Hopefully that news comes today.